Ready, continuing. Competitor number six, James Floyd, is a microbiology PhD student presenting Microbes Impact Biodiesel Systems. Good afternoon, everyone. Today I would like to introduce a topic in my dissertation research that involves an understanding of the contamination and proliferation of microorganisms on biodiesel and how they impact storage systems. My research has been a collaborative effort with the Air Force Research Labs in which we study numerous underground storage tanks from multiple bases across the United States. The Department of Defense has been transitioning towards the use of renewable energy in the past few years, and one of its earliest actions was incorporating the use of biodiesel in its non-combat vehicles. Biodiesel has many benefits that include being widely available for use in the private sector. It's able to be used with little to no changes in existing infrastructure, and it's more readily biodegradable when compared to neat diesel. This turns out to be extremely advantageous if spills occur in the environment. However, as the Department of Defense soon learned, this also meant that this fuel is more susceptible to degradation in these storage systems. My research has shown that the contamination of this biodiesel is largely responsible for fungi organisms. The contamination of these underground storage tanks can occur because these tanks are open in the environment and an ingress of rainwater can occur as well as it being open through ventilation systems. Just like all living organisms, these fungi require food and water to survive. They're actually able to use the biodiesel as a food source, respire using dissolved oxygen present in the fuel, and water is present through the rainfall runoff events. As these organisms degrade the biodiesel, the total energy available for combustion in this fuel decreases as well. Furthermore, as these organisms continue to grow, they begin to form thick biofilms between the fuel and the water le levels in these underground storage tanks. When this becomes bad enough, fouling of the underground tanks, uh, filters, gauges, and pumps can occur. If this becomes bad enough, then operators are left with no other choice but to close the tanks, discard the fuel, and physically clean these underground storage tanks. As one might imagine, this is a very messy and costly endeavor. But to make matters even worse is that no amount of physical cleaning can fully remove the biofilm from this system, leaving operators with no other choice but to place fresh fuel in an already contaminated environment and wait for the next fouling event to occur. However, something even worse is happening. As these fungi consume the biodiesel, they begin to produce organic acids. These organic acids can become concentrated, especially underneath the biofilm, where acid concentrations become quite high. This actually increases the risk of corrosion to the tanks, its components, and the vehicles that use this fuel. The Department of Defense and the private industry continue to use biodiesel bio and well for the foreseeable future. Now that my research has identified and defined this problem, its aims have been transitioning towards developing better ways to detect contamination in the system, treating underground storage tanks that are already infected, and preventing contamination from ever occurring in the first place. The aim of this research is to maximize the benefits of alternative fuels, increasing the stability of biodiesel, as well as minimizing the risk to infrastructure. Thank you.